Hey everybody, it's Alex, and today I have another makeup haul for you. Um, so I'm just going to show you some stuff I got from Halt Look, um, from the CCO, er, MAC, and Sephora. Um, also, my dog is sitting on the bed behind me. Lizzie! Liz! This is Lizzie, everybody. One of my three puppies. Um, she's a miniature poodle, so... And she likes to lick her foot, so if you hear, like, a weird noise in the background... That's that. Okay, let's get right into the haul. So the first thing I'll show you are the three products I got from Hot Look. Um, and a little while back, they were having a Stila sale. Um, and so all of these products were like 30 or 40% off, I think. Oh, also, I have, there's windows like right here on either side of me, but then I also have a lamp in front of me to try to make this lighting look a little normal. But if I look kind of orangey toned, it's because of this lamp here. Sorry, I've been having issues filming in this room, um, but I have to, and at least until I go to college, because I set up my makeup differently in my room, and so there's no like easy place for me to film. So that's a pain, but into the haul. Here we go. So the first two things I got from Stila were these casual eyeliners. I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, but they're the silver containers, and I got a black one and a white one. I believe the colors are just like... Oh, Smoky Quartz is the black, and Pearl is the white. So I'll just show you guys some quick swatches, show you how pigmented they are. So that's Pearl, and then the darker one is Smoky Quartz. And I actually have Smoky Quartz um, kind of like smoked out on my um, upper lash line right now. So that's that. And then the third thing I got, and the last thing I got, is the Stila Sheer Color SPF 15 Tinted Moisturizer. And I got it in Tone 07. Um, it just looks like this, and the applicator looks like that. So I actually have this on today too, and I am a huge fan. I really, really like this. Um, so if you're looking for a good tinted moisturizer, check this out. Um, and I believe that these two things were $9 each, and this was $10 from Hot Look. So Hot Look's awesome. If you're interested in it, I'll put my invite link down below. So you just click there, sign up. Uh, yeah. Okay, then I went to a CCO the other day, and I literally saw nothing I liked, except at the Bobbi Brown counter, I saw their corrector. So, I only picked up this, I'm kind of lame, but I got it in the color Bisque. It has a little mirror on top, but that's what it looks like. And what I do with this is I put it on after my face is moisturized before any other makeup, um, and I just put it right in this part of my eye, I don't put it all up here just right here where the most darkness is, and it really helps brighten it up. So I'm a big fan of that so far, um, but if you guys want a full review or anything, just let me know. And from the CCO, this was, I want to say $20, $20? Maybe $22. So that was that. All right, so now I'll do MAC. I literally just got back from the mall um, because I did some therapeutic shopping. If you follow me on Twitter, you would know why, um, but I don't need to go into that now. But I went to MAC, and the first thing I picked up is MAC Fix Plus, um, and this is their kind of refreshing, refreshing? That's a word, right? Um, spray, and so it just comes in a container like this. It's clear, um, and I was talking to the ladies, both at Sephora and at MAC, if, um, about if I should get Fix Plus or the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I had the mini All Nighter Setting Spray and I really didn't notice much with it. Um, I know there's a lot of hype of it here on YouTube, but I really think it's just hype. I don't know. I decided to give this a go. It's also $10 less, so decided to do that. And then the other things I got were four eyeshadows to fill my um, palette before I go off to college. So I will tell you what each of them are and then I'll kind of like show you what they look like. So let's see. The first one I got is Expensive Pink. I got All That Glitters. I know I didn't have it. I'm lame. I got Brown Script, which I actually have in my crease right now. Um, the guy at MAC put it on me, and I really like it. I think it makes my eyes look pretty. Um, and I got Yogurt. So I'll show you close up what those look like. So this is Expensive Pink. And again, the orangey reflection there is just the lamp, so don't worry about that. But it's Expensive Pink. This is Yogurt. It kind of has this like blue-pink undertone to it. Um, so the guy said that this would look really, really pretty, kind of like every day. Um, for blue eyes, so that's yogurt. This one is brown script, 
and it's a really nice reddish brown again it's in my crease if you can see it there um, just looks like that and then the last one is all that glitters which you all probably know very well so I won't talk about that a lot so yeah those are the eyeshadows and those are the products I got from Mac okay now for Sephora I left the biggest purchases or the most stuff for last so there's a lot of stuff in this bag guys just stay with me yeah okay so first on top they just tossed in a philosophy peaches and cream body lotion sample um, yeah so that's that and then because my birthday is next Friday I'm gonna be 18 um, I got the birthday present from Sephora and it was the philosophy happy birthday beautiful shower gel shampoo and bubble bath so that's that I think it smells like cake batter if I remember <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna open that now but that's that okay and then because I have never used my point perks um, from being a beauty insider um, I finally decided this was probably one of the best rewards I could have seen I've ever seen there um, so I decided to grab it it was one of the 500 point perks um, and it's called the benefit little look goods little look goods looks like this and it comes with a that gal primer a bad gal lash and a dandelion box powder I'll actually open this because every time I've seen people haul this I really wish they'd opened it and kind of show me what it looked like so I'm gonna do that for you guys so this is what the primer looks like just itty bitty I actually think this is a decent amount of product for a sample so that's pretty good um this is the bad gal lash mascara this is not waterproof wow and that's a huge brush kind of reminds me of the urban decay big fatty lash brush so that is that and then this is the dandelion box blush all right so I thought I was just recording this whole spiel but I didn't so I'm gonna go over it quickly again um, this is the dandelion blush and mirror little brush right here it's actually really quite soft so that's nice and then this is the color of the blush. I really hope you guys can see it there. It is very pretty. I think this will be a really, really good color for fall. Maybe winter also, especially when I get pale. Not that I'm not pale now. I'm pretty pale now. Um, but, so yeah. That was that little free goodie bag of stuff. I'm actually pretty happy I picked that up, so yeah. Okay, so now for the bigger Sephora purchases. Um, as you guys know, I was debating between NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And I had been sampling both of them and trying them out for about two weeks now. And I finally chose one. I went for the NARS Sheer Glow. I decided to do this, to do this one because I didn't think I needed the really heavy coverage that the Makeup Forever HD Foundation has. Um, and I just kind of fell in love with the formula of NARS. So I'm in the color Light 4 DeVille. This is what the packaging looks like. Unfortunately, it's like a screw off top, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, yeah, so picked up that. I'd like you guys to let me know what you think of this foundation because obviously I can still return it. So let me know what you think because I'm excited about it, but you know, foundations are hard for me. I'm, I'm kind of picky. Okay, then the next thing I picked up is the Benefit The Pore Fessional. Um, this says it's a pro balm to minimize the appearance of pores. And I don't know, I know in my tutorials you guys can see it, but maybe not when I'm this far away. I have humongous pores and it's so annoying. Right through here on me, it's just like, well bam. So I decided to pick this up. Um, I was going to wait for a review from another guru here on YouTube, but I decided I was going to get it no matter what because this is the only, besides the Too Faced one, which I actually have a little sample of already, this is the only primer I know that's supposed to really minimize the appearance of pores. So I decided to get that. I don't know, 
let me get let me guys let me know if you guys have used this and like it because yeah I'm curious and excited to use it oh and if you guys are wondering what this looks like um it's just a tube like this can you see that yeah tube like that and then that's what the top looks like Okay, so just two more things from Sephora. Um, the first thing I got is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, and I've been thinking about getting this all summer, and I know it's kind of dumb I got it at the end of the summer, but um, I know that Lisa Lisa D1 and Lisa SZ something, I'll link both of them down below. I'm horrible with channel names, you guys, so sorry. Um, but I'll link them both down below. They both use this, and they love it, and it looks so gorgeous on their skin. Um, and I know that they're older than I am, but I mean, I still think they have really beautiful young looking skin, so I figured this should work for me too. And I'm trying to open it so I can show it to you, but this is just not working with me. There we go. Okay. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then you pop it open and there's a mirror. Hi, pink camera. Oh, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Um, and then this is the bronzer. So if you see it next to my skin tone, I think this is a good matte bronzer. It could even work as a contour for me. Um, holy bejesus, it smells like Hershey's chocolate. That is so cool. Wow, okay. I don't know if you can see that on my finger there. Um, but that's the bronzer. You're not going to be able to. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that right there. So that's what that looks like. I am so excited. I finally let myself get this. So... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, and then the last thing I got, I just saw when I was, like, waiting in line at Sephora. Um, and I hate those stupid buckets at Sephora that have those, like, $10 awesome samples. Um, because I always get something. So I picked up the Tarte, uh, what's this called? Blush and Bronze on the Go. This is what the packaging looks like. And it comes with two products in it. And this was only $15. So, it's nicely wrapped up. Um, and the main reason I wanted to get this was because they had a sample size of the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And this is in the color Doll Face, which is another color I've heard kind of a lot of talk about. There's no mirror or anything, but this is the color. It's just a light pink. Um, and I've heard that this is a really amazing long wearing blush. So I'm excited to try that out. I think that's a really big sample also, so that should last me a while. The other thing this comes with is the Park Avenue Princess, um, which is another bronzer that Lisa Lisa D1 talks about all the time, um, and it looks like this. Um, and this one isn't matte, this one's kind of like a satiny finish, um, but I am so excited to try this. Um, you guys know me and my bronzers, I am like beyond obsessed. So I was super excited about this like little duo for 15 bucks. So. If you guys are into face products and stuff and want to give these things a try, I would really recommend checking out those little Sephora boxes things. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this makeup haul. If you want any full reviews or if you have any questions about the products that I've mentioned here, um, or if you want to give me any like tips and tricks on like the Benefit products or the NARS Sheer Glow, like what's your favorite way to apply the NARS Sheer Glow? Um, when I had the sample, I used a sponge, I used my fingers, and I used a um, stippling brush and a foundation brush. Couldn't really tell too much of a difference. I think my favorite way is using a beauty blender, um, but I'd like to know, what do you guys think? What's your favorite way to apply NARS Sheer Glow? Um, or any foundation, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's it, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye guys!